Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Hanifa Barnes, creator of Podsnaps and productivity architect. Today, we're going to talk about meetings, meetings, and more meetings, and how not to let meetings waste your time. So don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review, and let's jump in. spending six to seven hours per day in meetings and half of those meetings are a complete waste of time meaning decisions aren't being made who's supposed to be there that's not there who's not supposed to be there that is there there's a lot going on with meetings and the time spent and the time wasted in those meetings so today we're going to talk about a few things three questions to ask yourself when it comes to all those meetings that you have to be in first question is do we really need to meet, right? That's the real thing. Like what's supposed to be happening? Are we gonna be making decisions? And if so, what is the decision flow for that particular meeting? If you're not sure that you need to meet and you end up meeting, it can create a lot of exhaustion, frustration, and redundancy going back and forth about the same thing without making any decisions or moving forward on a particular point. You can also limit how it feels for other people in those meetings and their involvement. Like some people just come to meetings to show off the fact that they're the leader or that they have a certain role or position or some autonomy. And other people within that group can feel a lack of psychological safety in participating in that meeting. Don't be in the habit of just accepting a meeting for the sake of saying, I have a lot of meetings. Look and see and make an understanding for yourself of whether or not you really need to meet. It will save you so much time and prevent you from actually doing the work after hours. The second question is, what is a meeting for exactly? You wanna go into a meeting knowing exactly what, why you're supposed to be there. Make sure there's an uh, understandable topic of the meeting. Make sure there's some agenda attached or some particular bullet points as to why the meeting has been called try to get a sense of, is this a meeting to just share information, discuss some things that are related to something prior, or to actually make decisions so you can understand your purpose for that particular meeting? I mean, your capacity is limited, right? And during the course of a day. And you wanna treat your capacity as seriously as your company treats capital, correct? Because if you expend both, you got nothing. The third question is, what is everyone's role in the meeting? You ever show up to a meeting and there are a whole lot of people and you're wondering why? And then, or maybe there are too few people and you're wondering why. Role clarity is crucial for meetings because without it, it can really kill the productivity of the meeting and nothing can get done. So you wanna be clear on who is doing what and who serves what purpose in the meeting, especially for yourself. Different roles could include the decision maker who can actually say yes or no on a particular task or project. The advisor who would have input and shape the decision to support the decision maker. Then there's the recommender who examines all the alternatives, considers the pros and cons to then help the advisor and the decision maker. Then you have the executor who actually isn't so much involved in the decision as much as they're involved in implementation of the process and so they may ask all the clarifying questions and if you have a meeting with the person who's executing it's important for key people to be in there so that person executing when they ask those questions the answers can be made so the project can move forward and if you don't have a role or if you notice folks who don't have a role in the meeting you shouldn't be there i mean you're like a tourist you're just kind of hanging around taking the pictures right i mean honestly yes it's important to have people in the meetings who aren't necessarily taking a particular role but the question is what type of meeting is it and what is the purpose of that meeting right if you have a town hall or some type of state of your organization discussion yes you should be there with no role because the purpose of that meeting is to share information but if you have no purpose in moving forward on a particular priority of a meeting or a task of a certain meeting then you don't need to be there. And as a leader, if you feel like you want to share in on these other things and you want to inform people who don't have particular roles in a meeting, use a different channel. 
a newsletter, a regular email, a project management tool that shares it out. Whatever it is, find a different way so the tourists of the group can still be informed as they go along the journey. Thank you.